What is going on guys? Dreadlock Boy here and today I'm back with another video and um last time my story time actually did decent like I mean not fucking amazing not PewDiePie level yet sadly but it did really good for my channel even though that's pretty fucking cringy but who gives a fuck I've been cursing too much in the past 25 seconds but um today's story it's not even today's story it's like freaking this month's story upload schedule is out the window but this story is um I, um I, I wouldn't say funny i mean it's funny now but when it happened i took it like really serious i didn't take it as serious as the others but you know in this story i pretty much saved their lives um so in this story it took place um last school year and by the way i'm sorry if my voice sounds hella awkward and hella like messed up like i got fucked by cactus it's just that i'm sick i don't even know i've been sick for like the past week but um this um took place last school year and i was at the park with me and my two friends um me and my two friends i'll just give them two names whatever F fucking tom and jerry there you fucking go and um Tom, Tom, um, and Jerry, we were at the park playing football, like, you know, normal black dudes, and, um, yeah, we were just having a good time, like, you know, running plays, doing man-on-man -man coverage, you know, trying to run slant routes, trying to run a streak, whatever, who gives a fuck, and, um, we were playing for a while, and then some Hispanic dude, like, and it's so fucking weird how this shit happened, but the shit just happened, and so this Hispanic dude, literally walks up to me and my friend Tom and Jerry and he's like hey yo you guys want to learn how to fight and I looked at everybody and they looked at me like what like what do you mean you want to fight like why do we want to learn how to fight from you and like mind you this is like some Hispanic dude that's like in high school like he's probably in his junior or senior year of high school most likely junior maybe even sophomore year of high school and he's like walking up to us like do you want to learn how to fight in the middle of a park like in the middle of nowhere basically i mean it's not the middle of nowhere it's deep within a neighborhood but like still like we're in the middle of an open field and you're asking us this like what and we pretty much like told him nah and like the thing about it that made it so awkward and creepy and like you'll understand later on was the fact that like he kept on bugging us about it like he didn't leave like it wasn't like oh you want to learn to fight and then he was left no, like, he kept on nagging us. He's like, come on, man. It's, like, it's super easy. And, like, in our parks around here, there's, like, little weight lifting things and, like, exercise things, like, on this trail walk or whatever. And we were playing next to the, one of these exercise things. It was, like, a weight lifter, like, where you can lift weights to, you know, help yourself exercise. And he, like, went over to it. And he's like, come on, man. Look how easy I can do that. And, like, I just kind of walked over there. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty easy. And, like... I'm a pretty like skinny ass dude like if you've seen any of my other videos where I at least showed my face you can see like you don't even have to see my full body you can just see that I'm just like a fucking stick and yeah it wasn't that fucking hard I mean it's like more for like you know elderly people that like are trying to get in shape and like you know live longer and so finally after like I don't even know like fucking five minutes this guy finally leaves and we're like damn all right let's get back to playing football and so we kept on playing football for like a good 30 minutes. Dude walks in the other direction. All right, never see him again. Or at least, yeah, that's that's basically it. Yeah, we don't even see him ever again. And so we we just chilling, doing what we're doing. And then this um, group of people, like this large ass load of people, I couldn't, I don't even remember what they looked like. Like they could have been in high school, maybe mid 20s maybe fucking 30 who fucking knows i just didn't give a fuck of how like how old they looked or how old they actually were i just knew that they were a fucking big ass group like i'm talking about 15 minimum like people just walking like in the middle of like the field coming in our direction and i was like um okay I guess that's pretty normal like I mean it actually is pretty normal so I just really didn't care and you know we're ready set hike and I'm kind of like looking at them like why are they like walking in such a way like they're trying to get to us quick like 
they were walking with swagger, but it looked like they were trying to come to us, like, because we were the only people there, and there was nothing behind us that they could have possibly needed unless they want to eat leaves or some shit, so they were obviously coming in our direction, and I'm kind of like, um, oh, fuck, like, well, what the fuck, and so I look over to Tom, and I'm like, yo, Tom, who the fuck are those guys, like, why are they coming out, like, you see them, right, and they're like, we're like, yeah, and then literally, Tom and Jerry, like, they are automatic like i thought i was anxious but they automatically were like nah we're getting jumped and i'm like nah we is not getting jumped like that's like that's not fucking real and they're like yo and literally the moment that happened like the split second we were all in this little conversation it stopped instantly they grabbed their stuff shoved it into their back and they were gone all right and we were like oh shit and they, well, I mean, they were, we weren't, I mean, I was, I was just like, oh, shit, and so they just start clearing it, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I should probably start cleaning it right now, like, I was thinking that, but I, my body wasn't doing that, because I was, like, in shock, like, it, are we really about to get fucking jumped, and literally the moment they started running, the group of guys started running, too, and we were like, oh, shit, and so we cleared it, man, and the thing was, I was in slides, like, I was playing in my socks in the grass, but, like, I obviously walked to the park in, like, some kind of shoe or something. And I was walking in my slides. So, I had to run in slides. And running in slides are not the, is not the easiest thing in the world. You know, especially for my big-ass 12-size foot. And so, it was slipping off. And, I mean, there were some black people on, like, some fucking... I don't even know what the fuck they were on. They, they were running hella fast. But I run track, so I wasn't that scared. But I was still fucking scared to the point where... I was like fucking having a panic attack and fucking Jerry, Jerry was like this slow ass motherfucker that like, you know, doing hella slow. And I was like, yo, he's right behind us. Cause like, I swear to you, I turn around and I see this man behind me while we're walking down the street or running down the street and we have to clear it. We dart it down. And, um, T Tom's house was like literally right there on the curb. So, we literally cleared out of this park. We're already on the sidewalk and we didn't have any plans. But Tom, who was like already ahead of us because he was the most like, you know, scared. He literally just cuts into the front yard of his house. And we're like, oh shit. So that's what we did. And like this guy, like he left his group. His group started running, stopped running. But it was just this one guy from that group that was still chasing us. And so we clear it. And like this man, Tom, like cuts all the way behind his house and goes to the backyard all the way to his back patio and we follow him and the guys that were like the guy that was chasing us he was like what the fuck where the fuck did they go because he thought we just kept them running on the sidewalk because the guy lives right there on the curb so we were running on the sidewalk and then we just cut like the moment like like we weren't being like we weren't being seen and i mean if you guys can't really imagine it i'm sorry but I'm just speaking off of like my own experience and like my own eyes and shit, the shit worked. Like we sat there in the patio for like a good 10 minutes because we were scared as fuck to go back outside because we pretty much thought they were coming to coming to get us. We And at some points we thought they saw us or knew exactly where we were and ready to like jump over his, this man's backyard fence and just come and, you know, fucking, fucking eat us. Like, I don't fucking know. It's shit. The shit was fucking crazy. And I've been cursing and saying the word fuck too many times, but it, it, was, it was crazy. And, I mean, they finally left. And, I mean, when we went inside and we're just thinking about, like, what the fuck just happened? Like, we were, they were just looking at me like, yo, you saved our lives. Like, how could we, like, repay this man? You literally said, because I was the only person I noticed. Because, hands down, they can probably say this, and I'm saying this right now, they wouldn't have saw or, like, cared or have done anything if I didn't point it out before they got close enough. Because they were getting pretty close, because they were running, or not running, but they were walking pretty fast towards us. But, um, yeah, that's basically the time me and my friends, Tom and Jerry, because, you know, we fucking lit out there, almost got jumped. Um, still living in that neighborhood now, so hopefully that shit doesn't happen anytime soon. But, um, if it does, it's gonna make one a hell of a story, I guess. But, um, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed...
please hit that like button down below. I'm not getting any likes on my videos because, yeah, they're pretty ass, but still, I'd like some likes. With the views, I mean, shit, I'm getting some nice views on it. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.